The New York Giants traveling to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. NFC East showdown on Thanksgiving. The 7-3 Giants. The 7-3 Cowboys. The Cowboys, though, favorites in this one by 9.5 points with an over-under of 45 and a half here. Uh, Aaron, I talk to you about this all the time. All the time about the spread. And if this this is a this is a big spread here. Nine and a half points for the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys are that good though, but what what is your I'm not gonna ask if it's disrespectful to the Giants. I'm gonna ask you your thoughts just on that number that's at right now. Uh nine and a half points uh favorites for the Dallas Cowboys over the Giants. Um I, I think it's fair based on what we just saw. Um based on what we just saw from both teams with the Dallas Cowboys going into Minnesota and being able to do what they did offensively and defensively against an eight and one football team. And then you turn around and you look at the other end of it, the New York giants playing host to the Detroit Lions, or yeah, playing host to the Detroit lions. They were at home and the Detroit lions absolutely bullied them. I don't see that there's much of a difference here for the Dallas Cowboys game plan than what Detroit did. They're going to come in. They're going to run the football. They're going to get after Daniel Jones. They're going to try to eliminate Saquon Barkley and then let the pass rushers get up field. Um, the, the Dallas Cowboys should win this game, but there are always some funky things in Cowboys games on Thanksgiving. Um, so it could be a little closer than what the spread indicates, but I do think it's a valid number for the spread based on what happened last, last week. Um, I know it's a division game, but the Cowboys are at home. They're, they're, they're rolling right now. That offense is looking good. And I think you have to account for that. And the giants have continued to struggle offensively when they don't get production from Saquon Barkley. How do the giants bounce back uh, this week after what happened, after what took place last week, a very disappointing performance uh, to the lions. How do they bounce back? What, what do they need to do to bounce back here? Only Saquon Barkley. If Saquon Barkley, and, and this is going to be the running theme for the Giants, Saquon Barkley has to account for 120, 130 yards of production offensively, or they're not in the game. And if he does account for 120, 130 yards, that is just giving them a chance to win. He has to be special, 150 plus, to just no, let's go out in Giants right now. Nope. Um, first of all, nope, and, and Oh, I know. I see now. Um, <laughs> lady, get out of my way. Uh, we're not even seeing guys <clears throat> like Adore Jackson, who, who's off the field now. Wandell Robinson torn ACL. We haven't even mentioned the injuries that the Giants are dealing with, um, which I think is another big key. So they're going to have to play perfect football, and that's the problem with the New York Giants. I think they're a good football team, but they have to play perfect. And when you have to play perfect, it's hard to win in the NFL because playing perfect is hard to do. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, this is only the fourth meeting in the last 30 seasons with both teams, four plus games over 500. Uh, this is a good time that, that, that for both these NFC East teams. Um, Thanksgiving, though, big time matchup. You just said during the last preview that there's always one team that really just that, that shocks the world on Thanksgiving. Maybe it's the Giants. Maybe it's not the Giants. Who do you have one in this one? Uh, for me, Cowboys win this game. Um, I just think they're on a roll right now. They beat them earlier this year with Cooper Rush. I don't think it's a good matchup for the Giants. Uh, give me the Cowboys in this one. Offense stays hot. Uh, 35 to 17. I don't know if they stay that hot. I think this is a more low, in sco low scoring game. I take the, I don't know if I take the under. I'd have to do the map. Um, I'm going to go 26 20. 26 to 17. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stick with another 17-point game here from, from, from the losing team. 26-17 Cowboys over the Giants. I think that the defense for the Cowboys is just too good. The Giants would be fortunate to get those 17 points in this game because of how good the Cowboys' defense has been. Uh, like you said, I think that the Giants are going to have to play perfect football, and I'm not sure Daniel Jones can do that. I think they're going to have to rely on Daniel Jones which then, which then leads to the mistakes, uh, and the Cowboys win 26-17. to 17. 